That name, that logo. 87 years of tradition are wrapped up in them. So are decades of turmoil. Viewed by many as a racial slur, the faithful are coming to grips with the team's announcement. I'm not feeling the change, really, honestly. I'll be honest with you, it is time for a change. It's family. That's all it is. The Redskins is a family. For years, there's been an Indigenous-led push to change the name. Support grew. This was star football analyst Bob Casas in 2013. It's an insult, a slur. Team owner Dan Snyder has always refused. So, what's changed? Sponsors. As recent anti-racism demonstrations sweep the U.S., FedEx threatened to pull its name from the team's stadium, taking tens of millions of dollars of sponsorship dollars with it. It's once the sponsor started saying, all right, it's either you stick to that name or you stick with us, uh, that he decided to change. It's as simple as that. It's always going to be what it is. It's money drives the story. Today's announcement, which went out on team letterhead with the logo, made direct mention of sponsors before fans. Twice. And some question if this is really progress. When you have a team named after a dictionary defined racial slur, that should not take the kind of corporate pressure that's been, been brought to bear here. I truly think that if there was some real social consciousness raising with the, the corporate sponsors or with the, um, the team owners, we would see them doing more than just changing the name. Similar corporate pressure has the CFL's Edmonton Eskimos and baseball's Cleveland Indians looking at their names. But the Atlanta Braves say they won't change theirs, though they are reviewing the tomahawk chop. Meanwhile, in Washington, a new debate. What should the team be called? Warriors is a leading candidate. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.